Hey you, welcome back to YT Finance and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to and today we are talking about the top 10 best dividend stocks to buy in January of 2024. So for more videos just like this one, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, go ahead and become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents per month because that's what keeps me here on YouTube and with that being said, let's get right into today's story. Dividend investing provides investors with steady cash flow over the long haul, so if you want passive income, dividend investing is literally the best way to earn a passive income in my opinion. And on top of that, when you reinvest your passive income in the form of dividends back into the dividend stock itself, the magic of compounding literally will turbocharge your overall results. And that's exactly what I do. I have something called drip investing enabled on all of my portfolios, which automatically reinvests any dividend I get from any particular stock. And it uses that dividend to reinvest back into the same company. So not only will my future dividends be greater, but my overall compounding growth will be greater, making me more money. And in this video, we're going to dive into the best dividend stocks, which is a great hedge against inflation, and they also provide very good stock price appreciation as well as capital gains to offset rising costs. Now you should know that a good dividend cannot make up for an underperforming stock. Sometimes you see a stock price trending downwards, but this company will have a high dividend. Do not invest into that. That is a clear trap. Similarly, companies with high dividend yields can also be a trap because they're trying to attract investors due to their high dividend to cover up things such as erratic payouts, poor performance within the company, minimal growth prospects, or just a bad stock. So we're looking for stability, a backbone to provide resilience resilience for your overall portfolio. And with that being said, I say let's get right into our first pick, which is Elevance Health Inc, ticker symbol ELV. This company is clearly a health insurance provider for individuals as well as governments and employee sponsored plans. This company has a B financial rating from Morningstar, meaning that this company is fundamentally pretty healthy. The company has also seen strong earnings growth of around 9.3% year over year over the last five years on on average, and this trend is anticipated to continue with them increasing on a yearly basis with an 11.8% yearly earnings per share growth over the next five years. So again, this is very impressive. We also see that this company has a dividend yield of 1.2%, and each company that we talk about after this company will have a higher dividend yield than the last. So literally a 1.2% dividend yield will be the lowest on this list, but we also want to look at their five-year average annualized dividend growth rate, which is 14 14.6%. So not only does this company offer very stable growth in terms of their share price and a decent dividend, but also a pretty good dividend growth rate as well. And that's why this company is number 10 on our list. Moving up to number nine, let's talk about one of my favorite companies that I heavily invest into. And that is none other than United Health Group Incorporated, ticker symbol UNH. United Health Group provides health insurance primarily to people in the United States, but they also are globally relevant. Currently, the company provides care for approximately 152 million people. All around, this company is extremely solid. And don't just take my word for it. We saw Morningstar give this company an A financial rating, which again indicates that this company is extremely fundamentally strong in regards to their financials. Analysts also forecast an 11.9% yearly earnings per share increase for this company over the next five years, meaning that this EPS growth is very high above 10% and they're anticipated to bring in over a 10% yearly EPS increase over the next five years, every single year of those five years, which is fantastic. However, there is a drawback for this company because they are currently trading at near its 52-week highs, so strong stock performance is clear clearly an indicator of this company's overall prowess in their respected space. But even with that being said, there is further upside left in this company. They have a dividend yield of 1.4% with an average five-year annualized dividend growth rate of 15.9%. So again, this company is absolutely phenomenal and I personally hold it in my portfolio. Next, let's talk about Marsh & McLennan Companies Inc, ticker symbol MMC. This company has a dividend yield of 1.5% and a five-year average annualized dividend growth rate of 11.3%. The reason why this company is on our list is again, they are an insurance provider. And if you didn't know, insurance is a phenomenal space to be invested into. This company also provides risk consulting services and they operate through four business segments. And each of these business segments have their own business, such as Marsh, 
Guy Carpenter, Mercer, and Oliver Wayman. And all of these companies all fall underneath the umbrella of Marsh and McLennan companies. Like we said in the beginning, this is a very stable and financially strong company, gaining another A rating from Morningstar for financial health. They have also been growing their earnings per share at more than 18% per year. So this is rapid growth for such a great stable company. This growth is expected to slow down though. However, their remaining prospects are still very bullish because they're anticipated to bring in an 11.1% per year on average growth rate for their EPS over the next five years. The company also has a very strong history of increasing their dividends, which are likely to continue well into the future. So if you want a stable, fundamentally strong and resilient company that is rapidly increasing their earnings per share and dividends, look no further than MMC. But the picks get even better than that. Hubble, if you didn't know, is an industrial conglomerate which sells everything from copper and fiber cables to audio and video cords. They also specialize in chargers, LED lights, fasteners, and many other things. They are essentially a jack of all trades, and that's why they are on this list. Again, they have an A rating for financial health, and analysts anticipate this company will grow their earnings per share by 10% over the next five years on average per year. Again, a 10% EPS growth is very good for very stable companies like these. So you are going to add stability and a lot of passive income from these companies as time progresses. The company's dividend has also been growing every year over the last decade, and that trend is not anticipated to change anytime soon. Their five-year average annualized dividend growth is 7.7%, while their five-year average annualized EPS growth is 15%. So again, another great company for you to do more research into. You should also know that these are not necessarily buy recommendations. I am just trying to make you aware of these companies because I think investors should have at least some of these in their portfolio, but I can't judge what's good for your personal portfolio because I don't know what's in your portfolio. I don't know your risk tolerance. I don't know your age and a lot of other variables and factors that I would need to know to really recommend stocks. So these are not stock recommendations at all. These are companies that I want you to be aware of so you can dive in do your own research and determine whether or not these companies are good for your personal portfolio. With that being said, let's get right back into the video. Next up, we have Microchip Technology Incorporated, ticker symbol MCHP. If you've never heard of this company, this company is a very popular semiconductor company that makes microcontrollers and microprocessors. They also specialize in data converters, LED drivers, memory products, power management products, among a plethora of other things. Now, this is one of the companies on this list that has a B financial health rating according to Morningstar, but honestly, anything C and above indicates very healthy financials for this company. They also have literally the highest earnings per share growth rate on this list. Analysts currently project a 12.1% yearly earnings per share growth over the next five years. And they have a very impressive dividend coming in at 1.9%. And again, you are anticipated and I expect you to reinvest this dividend back into this company so a future dividend is even greater. They also have a five-year average annualized dividend growth rate of 19.2%. So if you are looking for a growth company that has good value and they have a good financial health rating, then this company literally is the one for you. I currently right now am eyeing this company and I am waiting for a good entry point into Microchip Technology Incorporated and I will keep you updated on whether or not I pull the trigger and end up buying into this company. But right now it is on my watch list and I wanted you to be aware of that. Next up is another one of my favorite companies which is McDonald's Corporation, ticker symbol MCD. I'm sure you're already familiar with McDonald's and what they do, but if you're not, here's some info. They operate fast food restaurants around around the globe, including both company-owned and franchised stores. McDonald's clearly has a financial rating of A from Morningstar, and analysts anticipate this company will grow their earnings per share by 9% per year over the next five years. Now, I know this doesn't meet our criteria of a 10% CAGR for their EPS over the next five years, but this company is just so good. The company's dividend yield is 2.3%, and they have an average five-year annualized dividend growth rate of 7.6%. And honestly here, we really want to focus on their dividend yield of 2.3%. 
3.3%. This company also has fantastic stock price appreciation with it. It's like buying a growth stock with a very good dividend yield, and that's exactly what I want to hone in on. We want to hone in on companies that have not only good dividend yields and are very strong financially, but we want to see their stock price appreciation as well, so we're making money in two different ways. We're making money from the stock price appreciating, and we're also making passive income in the form of dividend payouts. And that's why McDonald's is another company I personally own in my portfolio, and it has performed extremely well for me over the last five years. Next, let's talk about Automatic Data Processing Inc., ticker symbol ADP, which is another company I hold in my personal portfolio. Automatic Data Processing provides human resources, payroll, insurance, and retirement services to a plethora of corporations. The company has a strong dividend yield of 2.4%, and they have a 5-year average annualized dividend growth rate of 12.1%. So not only do you get a strong dividend yield, but they are rapidly expanding and growing their earnings per share, and if you didn't know, earnings per share is one of the best ways to dictate whether or not a company is going to do well over the long term. We want to consistently see them increase their earnings per share because earnings matter. It's probably one of the best, if not the best metric to determine a company's future growth, their current health, and whether or not investors should buy into the company. ADP all around is a solid pick and they have a very high performing stock. The company also has a B financial rating from Morningstar and this would take into consideration their accounting ratios, their financial health, and the overall financial strength of the company. The company has also grown their earnings per share at 16.2% per year over the last five years, and analysts currently expect this company to have a yearly earnings per share increase of 13.5% over the next five years, which again is a fantastic growth rate from a very fundamentally solid company, and like I said, I personally own this company in my personal portfolio. Next up, let's talk about Air Products and Chemicals Inc., ticker symbol APD not to be confused with ADP. And as the name implies, they are an industrial gas supplier, and they are one of the largest helium and hydrogen producers in the entire world. You should also know that this company is also a leading material stock, and I really like this company. This is another company that's on my watch list, and I'm just waiting to get into this company at a good share price point. So again, fundamentally very solid, with a pretty good dividend yield of 2.6%, and a five-year average annualized dividend growth rate of 9.7%. What's great about this company is not only do you get a strong dividend yield, but that dividend yield is rapidly increasing and set to increase very rapidly in the future. The company's share price is also very competitive, and we know that the future of this company is very bright, considering that hydrogen and helium producers are going to receive a lot of attention in the future. And this would be because electric vehicles are now becoming hydrogen electric hybrid vehicles. So hydrogen producers are going to receive a lot of attention as this shift from electric vehicles is made from electric vehicles over to hydrogen-powered electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles. So keep APD stock on your watch list or even buy into it if you feel like it's great for your portfolio. Again, I am scoping out this company right now and I'm just waiting to pounce. Next up, let's talk about another company in my portfolio, which is Lockheed Martin, ticker symbol LMT. Lockheed Martin is one of the largest defensive contractors in the entire world and they are a leading industrial stock. This company makes things such as fighter planes, helicopters, helicopters, missiles, missile defense systems, satellites, and even space vehicles. This company naturally has an A rating for their financial health in regards to Morningstar's overall financial and accounting ratios, and they also are growing their earnings per share at more than, get a load of this, 20% per year. That growth rate is anticipated to slow down a little bit, however, their average is anticipated to come in at around 10.7%, which meets our criteria over the next five years. The company's actually making so much money that the future growth of this company is very bright, and the company's making so much money that they will continue to pay out their dividend and even increase their dividend as time goes on. This company has routinely outpaced the S&P 500, which is a stock market index benchmark, and I anticipate that Lockheed Martin will do the same throughout the year of 2024. Again, that's why I personally hold it in my portfolio, and I can't wait to add more and invest more into this company because it has been a huge winner in my portfolio.
Last but not least, let's talk about Texas Instruments Inc, ticker symbol TXN, which is another company I hold in my portfolio with a dividend yield of 3.2%. This company is normally famous for their calculators, but Texas Instruments also does a lot of other things that people don't know about. They manufacture semiconductors and they're the world's largest maker of analog chips. Like many of the other companies on this list, they have an A grading for financial health from Morningstar, and the reason why we would want an A or B grading for these types of companies because we are looking for stability and passive income in the form of dividend yields, dividend appreciation, and stock price appreciation so we can make money in a passive income sort of way in a multitude of various areas and segments. This company has routinely posted strong earnings growth, and they are expected to continue with nearly a 10% earnings per share growth over the next five years. Here is the list of the top 10 best dividend stocks to buy right now in January of 2024, and again, let me mark my favorite stocks. We had Microchip Technology Incorporated, McDonald's, Automatic Data Processing, Air Products and Chemicals, Lockheed Martin, and Texas Instruments. The only three that I am not really gung-ho about would be Hubble, Marsh and McLennan companies, as well as Elevance Health. But overall, this is a very strong list, and you can see their dividend yields over here on the right side of the screen, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about any or all of these companies. With that being said, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, go ahead and become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents per month, because that's what keeps me here on YouTube, and with that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you in the next YT video.